Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Brianna, and I make health, beauty, and lifestyle videos to inspire and motivate women like myself. Now today is a book video, and I usually do it in front of my bookshelf, but I like this setting, so we're gonna stay here. If you would like to know how I styled, installed this U-part wig, then you can watch the video right here. Okay, so today is a very interesting subject, topic, we are talking about the book Confessions of a Video Vixen by Corinne Steffens. She is known for being in some of the top hip hop videos back in the day in like 2005 and stuff like that. Um, she has dated a lot of known rappers and athletes and stuff like that so she wrote a tell-all book well she says it's not a tell-all because she really left a lot of details out but she did tell a lot i don't have the cover on mine but this is the book confessions of a video vixen and she has her little pictures and stuff in here if y'all can see i might do a close-up Um, this book is very good. It's very interesting. As a young girl, and it's sad to say, seeing the video vixens and stuff like that, the models and all of that, I was fascinated with what that lifestyle may have been like. And this book came out when I was young. So I read it because I was interested in what she went through, what her lifestyle was. And she wanted to write this book to let young girls know that it is not all that it seems it's not what it's cracked up to be it's not what you think okay all that glitters is not gold and she definitely conveyed that message within this book i mean i don't know it's it's weird because it's kind of gotten worse over the years with these new rappers and these new and instagram and social media and all of that has gotten a lot worse everything is more glorified the bbls the nothing not to say that anything is wrong with getting a bbl to make yourself comfortable but some girls are getting it just to portray a certain thing that they think is the way to go and it's really not she wrote this before instagram and all of that was here and so as you can see now that instagram and social media is here it's making it more difficult for young females to really understand what is normal and um what they should look like or you know and it's sad because there is no way to look like there is no normal how you look is how you look and that's fine there is such a high standard of beauty that is crazy and it's unrealistic it, it there's it's not real the instagram models they 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 do the filters and they do the I feel like I sound like an old person I know I am an old person but they do the filters and they do the the Photoshop and all of that and that's why with my pictures on Instagram I try to not edit my pictures as much because I want y'all to know that this is really me even if you know I got on makeup but I wear light makeup I don't be you know you know this is basically a discussion on my opinion of this book and whether or not it was right for her to put out this book in the information that she did. I recently saw Corinne Steffen's interview with Tyra Banks and it was so cringy. It was so... I was very disappointed in how Tyra came at her. Whoever. And was... you're saying you had sex with all the men that you just named? Um... Yes. So why did you write this book? Well, initially when I started writing the book, it was for my own purpose. I had gone through a lot um, because the book isn't about sex and it's not about hip hop and it's not about rappers. It's about my journey from being an abused child to being raped as a young child to being, uh, you know, going through spousal abuse, a young mother, and then getting into that mm -hmm. and then having to, you know, almost dying with a drug overdose. And, and then once I began to heal myself um, close to about four years ago, I really had to figure out what happened to me in order for me to heal. I had to admit it to myself, what I did. But you had to know that naming the names and talking about the sexual exploits is what's going to, is what was going to put the book, you know, at the top of New York's best-selling list. I mean, it's number I, I five actually, on the best-selling list. And mm -hmm. so it just shows me that we're in a celebrity 
um, hypnotized society. But you were hypnotized by the celebrity. Exactly, at once. which so is the whole point of the book. Why people are so exactly, which okay. is so, which, which mm -hmm. is what's so ironic and so wonderful because that's the point of the book. That these were the guys that you would go out with and wine and dine and spend a lot of money and hang out, yeah. and then. You had but I still bottom. have that lifestyle now. That no, lifestyle but, I'm saying, but, you a, but I'm talking about your rock bottom. And you hit a rock bottom where you mm -hmm. were homeless, yeah. living in the car with your son, Absolutely. freezing to death and Absolutely. using jackets to stay but warm. all of that was my fault. No, but I'm saying, their but fault. what I'm saying is you called these guys uh -huh. and said, I need some help. Yeah. And none and of them helped no. you. And my son went through a lot of this with me. Um, when I slept in the car, he was the only person in the car with me. But you put your son and you dedicated your book to the son, mm -hmm. which means it opens it up to his school because his name is in the book. His first name's in the book. A lot of children yes. are named Naeem. Yeah, but you pick him up at school and you look just like this. Okay. So and all the true. parents are normally, I'm in, I'm in the PTA. I just, I feel that people expect me to be ashamed. And all my life I've been expected to be ashamed of who I am. And I'm not, and I think that it bothers a lot mm -hmm. of people that I'm not ashamed. And a lot of us spend our lives being ashamed of who we are and what we've done and are afraid to share that with our children. It doesn't children. bother me that you're not ashamed. I, I admire the fact that you're not ashamed. I think what bothers me is that I think you are a very smart woman, you're very articulate, mm -hmm. and I, I think you do know exactly what you did. And you knew that naming names would be the thing that <laughs> makes the press, because you were attracted to that. You're attracted mm. to names, you're attracted to celebrity, and I think you do understand that naming these names means that, mm. you know, this is gonna get attention. Mm -hmm. You're dying inside, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't been the hardest on you. I've seen your interviews, and there have been people that are super duper duper hard mm. on you. Maybe this I was just, actually a walk in the park. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it today. She was just acting like she was the worst person in the world, like, you know, these men didn't have a part in their affairs as well, and, and I think it's because Corinne was involved with somebody that Tyra was involved with, but girl, like, that's not my fault, you know? That's your man, not mine. Like, what you want me to do? I feel like for her at that time, when nobody else, like, she, she broke barriers in everything that she did. So with the videos and things like that, when she was in the mystical video, she was the only one that, you know, was the most revealed and she wanted to do things to stand out and stuff like that. So for her to put out this information in this book at that time, she was so brave. She was so brave because the amount of powerful people that she mentioned, things could have happened to her. And I'm glad that they didn't. At the end of the day, she told her story. She she said that she held back information, lots of information, and she did tell certain things, but though that's her story too. That is her story too. She lived that life. I don't think there was anything wrong with her putting out this information. I really don't. Because at the end of the day, most of these guys that she's mentioning, they, they had wives and they were not being faithful in their relationships. So what's done in the dark comes out in the light. <laughs> So, I mean, I mean, <laughs> and like I said earlier, it's a cautionary tale because these girls, they really look up to these people and they really think that they're someone that they're not. They look at them as up here and they're really just regular people or they're dirty people who you don't want to deal with for real. It's very tempting to want to be with all these people who have so much money and power and all of this and that, but I am a firm believer in go get your own. So you don't have to look for that. So you don't have to strive for that because you already have it or you're working towards it at least. Um, so I really appreciate her for putting out this book and for speaking her truth and for and it was some tea, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot of good tea in here. You know, she talked about Ja Rule, Jay-Z, Vin Diesel, Shaq, Irv Gotti. Like, she put out some big names and um, it was entertaining too. So at the same time, you know, it was helpful to let girls know what she went through and, and the real about stuff and at the same time, it was entertaining. So I appreciate this book. I really do. If you have not read it, you really should read it. I always say that I have this website where you can get books and not have to pay for them. 
and I, you know, keeping it quiet. But yes, DM me if you would like to read this book at no cost. I don't think that she, so if you want to talk about being messy and just like clout chasing and stuff like that, we need to talk about Selena Powell. We need to talk about Selena Powell and not to down, not to um, look down on her or talk down on her, but I'm just saying it like it is. She does certain things for attention. And I don't think that Corinne Steffens was on that same energy. You can tell, like you can just tell because if she really was, she would be doing the same things that Selena Powell does, which is putting out their phone numbers, just saying information like unnecessary information just to laugh or just to I don't know and and I find her videos entertaining as well but it's all about your intention what are your intentions with putting out these videos because you already get money from these people so what's your point and that's to just become popular I am not judging her I don't know what she's been through I don't know her life but there's a certain way that you do things and there's certain reasons that you do things and that's all I'm saying <laughs> it's so elevated now and I think that's another reason why she did write this book is because she knew that or she probably knew that it was gonna get worse and that a lot of girls were gonna become who they are now which is clout chasers Instagram models, people who try to portray a certain lifestyle that is not even real, and that's sad. Please read this book, and please let me know your opinions about it. Do you think that Corinne Steffens was just trying to be messy? Do you, how do you feel about um, her writing this book and putting those people's names out like that? Let me know your overall opinions. If you have any other books that you would like for me to discuss, let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.